Hey guys, this is Fever91, and I'm talking about the Xbox Series S. Now, for those who don't know, it's been recently announced that out of the 512 gigabyte hard drive that is in the Xbox Series S, you'll only be able to use about 364 gigabytes. Okay, now, this is actually normal for those who don't know. Like the Xbox Series X, out of the one terabyte hard drive, you'll only be able to use about 800 gigabytes of space because the other around 200 gigabytes is being used for the operating system and essential files. This is pretty normal actually, right? But 364 gigabytes is pretty small, especially when games, I mean, Halo Chief Master Collection, according to Kotaku, already is around 100 gigabytes. So you're not gonna be able to fit much games on the Xbox Series S. Now, before I go on, let me just point out, if you buy the Xbox Series S, I'm just talking about full price right now, I'm not talking about sales, and you get the Seagate memory card, which is, I think right now, that's the only way to upgrade, the terabyte one at least, I think that's $219.99, right? You would actually spend more than just getting the Xbox Series X. So just saying, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Xbox Series S, but you gotta know what you want when it comes to these systems. Or maybe I'll do what my sister's fiance did with his PS4. Like he only has, at least when I was with him, he only had like a few games downloaded and he would delete some games he didn't need anymore when he wanted to download another one because he didn't have an external hard drive hooked up to his PS4 at the time, at least. So maybe some of y'all are fine doing that and y'all just need the Xbox Series S and y'all don't need the extra memory card. Really, you just gotta, with these consoles, you gotta look at what you plan or think you want to get them for. And whether you plan on having a bunch of big games or whether you just plan on having a bunch of games download on the system at once, just remember, Buying the Xbox Series S and the one terabyte Seagate memory card, right? Is actually more expensive than buying the Xbox Series X. So there's a couple factors before you decide on which one you want to buy, if any of them. And I'm not saying the Xbox Series S is bad because it's what it's supposed to be. It's, it's a very cheap console, but storage is something to think about when you decide on which console to buy. But what console do you guys think you'll get? And does this information that the Xbox Series X will only let the user use about 364 gigabytes change your decision on which one you're purchasing if any of them let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like subscribe and god bless you all